Hello guys, how's it going? My name is Dalrim. A lot of you guys, and surprising amount of you, actually asked me to cover and review every single rogue spec in terms of PvP, in terms of the playstyle, advantages, strengths and disadvantages, and this is what this video is all about. I feel like that I put out enough content in terms of the guides for this patch for all three specs of Outlaw, Assassination, and Subtlety, which I'll hopefully remember to link down in the description below, if not somebody hounded me for that. But anyways, this video is going to cover everything in terms of the specs and how they differ in terms of PvP to give you guys different flavors and if anything help you choose which spec you might want to either give a try or main for the remainder of this season too. This change basically covers everything the specs are all about in patch 715 so it should be up to date so let's get to it. In the first spot we have assassination one of the more popular specs of legion and one of the most powerful specs of all three year specs of rogue this spec definitely packs a punch in terms of its damage and with changes in 715 you're basically at a point where the changes in this patch basically benefited you from the playstyles that most people were running mostly prioritizing vigor as the option of dps and with addition of blind this spec has now a little bit more oomph in terms of cc to be able to be incorporated even more evenly into arena teams with mages and priests and such allowing assassination rogues to basically the full reign of control in terms of your dps this spec is a little bit limited in terms of how much cc you have because since you don't really have the opportunity to kidney a secondary target for cc unless you're going for that uh there's not that many situations for cc but there's a lot of situations for damage and that's what the spec of assassination specializes in assassination can take on many dps roles whether you want to be somebody who trains a single target until they're completely out of breath to take them down which is great for training healers or if you want to be somebody who puts pressure on more than one target you're able to spread your pressure between two and three targets in arena environment and even in bg environments allowing you to either spread pressure and basically control enemies with damage force them to heal themselves and heal their friendlies and blow cooldowns or if you really just want to take down that healer that's sitting way in the bag just healing his whole team you are somebody who is able to do so Assassination specializes in terms of damage, whether it be bleeds that go through armor, poisons that go through armor, consistent damage, or massive burst damage with your cooldowns. One of the benefits of assassination is the powerful cooldowns that you have if you are trying to single out a target. When you combo together your vendetta buff as well as your artifact weapon, then you have a deadly combo where you can basically train the target, which uh, by train I mean sit on them the whole time, just pound damage after damage, pound energy into them, pound combo points into them and eventually take the target down but you can also kind of spread your cooldowns a little bit and put a garrote and a rupture on one guy put a garrote and internal bleeding on another guy put a rupture on another target you have everybody with the venom have all the poisons taking down so then everybody's taking a little bit of damage here and there throw a kidney in there throw a kick in there vanish silence this guy so you have a little bit of control in terms of cooldowns this pack is very reliant on cooldowns so waiting for your vendetta waiting for your artifact weapon is something you're going to end up doing quite often Often. So once you do pop any cooldowns on an enemy, try to single out that enemy, try to deal as much damage to them as possible as to make sure you don't waste any cooldowns. So that's basically assassination in a nutshell. With addition of blind, you now have a little bit more flexibility in terms of control and choosing what kind of CC you can implement into different various PvP situations. So it does have a little bit more breathing room, not nearly as much as it had in the past with the capability of gouge and uh, two vanishes to be able to go garroting enemies from time to time for a full silence. But you still do have a lot of damage and it's kind of where a lot of your control comes from. The spec playstyle is very aggressive, not really all that mobile, but still very powerful and most people that do play assassination do uh, I do realize the potential damage that this spec has every time they play it so a lot of players will agree that the spec deals insane amounts of damage and that is something a lot of players can have fun with then I think the second best spec in the game right now is Subtlety. Subtlety is one of the specs that have gotten through a lot of changes in Legion and in patch 715 they basically are not that much different. What the patch did is nerfed a few talents here and there but for the most part in PvP most of you should not notice any of the major changes. You will notice however that Subtlety does deal a little bit more damage than before. As I said earlier, the spec gone through a lot of changes. It used to be really burst spec, but now it's more about control, sustain, and high amounts of mobility. Being able to hit multiple targets, being able to put pressure on more than one target, and having a lot of capability to control one target while pounding pressure into the other target. 
this spec has a lot of sustained damage and that's kind of where it comes most of his damage comes from that's basically what the spec is about again in the past the spec used to deal massive bursty damage but now it's all about sinking as many shadow strikes as possible into the enemy making sure you maintain your shadow dot on the target and throwing in cc on enemies whether it be healers or the dps to peel or line up uh control in the enemy so that's basically what you have it's kind of like a support role but you also have this main dps role it's kind of an interesting mix of a spec subtlety is a very mobile spec and that's one of its major advantages with shadow strikes being an ability that teleports you behind the enemy allowing you to chase after enemies back to back to back allowing you to change your position based on where enemies are positioned and combine that together with capability to still shadow step it gives you a lot more freedom a lot more maneuverability around the game especially after all rogues got hit with a slow nerf which at first i was thinking was going to be terrible and some players have complained that they have had the slow nerf compl uh, completely affect them to a degree where it's unplayable but usually those players are the ones that have have kind of a subpar or not as a great of internet connection so if your ms is high on an average session when I'm playing world of warcraft then you will notice some differences but a subtlety spec is one of the specs that can basically defy the ms and with that mobility you basically don't even have to worry about the fact whether the enemy are slowed whether the enemy are not slowed how powerful is the slow one of the biggest advantages of the spec and how easily it got integrated in terms of its artifact weapon is the capability to CC targets. You are there to lock someone down, to stop them from being able to cast abilities, to pop defensives, to even pop offensives. And you basically expect that it's going to be doing the lineups. Imagine playing with a mage. The mage is going to be the one casting arcane bolts or fire bolts or even the glacial spikes and you're there to hand the enemy to them on a platter by stun locking them, making them take more damage, hitting them back to back to back with shadow strikes to supplement for the damage, making sure the night blade is up to supplement for the damage and you're there to control the battlefield. The amount of control this spec has is a little bit insane. You can easily go into a major CC rotation. Let's say you stun an enemy with a kidney, right? You throw him in the kidney they shrink it because the kidney is kind of a long cooldown then you throw them in a full blind and you can just kind of wait there in front of them until the blind is about to run out you can go into shadow dance or even stealth and sab the enemy sap them three times then open them on, 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 on with a cheap shot after the stun drs are off so the amount of control that this pack is uh, it's pretty insane to be honest and a lot of players do find this a little bit jarring of oh how to go by controlling a lot of people just want to run in a bg and just start damaging as hard as they can just damage 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 well the spec isn't all about damage its burst capabilities are very minor it's not really burst it's more like you are increasing the intensity of your sustained damage that's basically a burst as i said before subtlety used to be about burst but a lot of people have to had to go through the adjustment phase of figuring out okay can't really burst all the time have to be more about sustained damage but the spec with 715 definitely get it treated to a few damage buffs that were much needed so a lot of players are reporting that they are enjoying some of the different changes that are happening in the game some of the different numbers that they're putting out in the game so a lot of players would enjoy this pick if you like the idea of mobility, you like the idea of kind of hit and run mechanic, you like being able to kind of toy with your enemy by stun locking him and then shadow striking back behind them where the enemy literally just, it's just so close but it's so out of reach they can never hit you as this pack is very agile. Like the idea of agility, you never really understand just how, an a how agile a class can be until you play yourself some subtlety and it's not agility as like some stat that makes you deal more damage but just the mobility that you get out of it Oh, it just feels really good and empowering. Now for the last spec, which a lot of people will describe in 715 as kind of dead in the water spec, Outlaw is the last spec a lot of you should be considering in terms of competitive PvP. For the longest time, Outlaw has been my favorite spec and it still currently is, but it does have some drawbacks after patch 7.15. In patch 7.1, it was probably one of the better specs to play for Arena in terms of getting higher rated, but after the changes to 7.15, with true bearing no longer affecting your parry, your cloak, or your blind, the spec is kind of dead in the water. There were some damage buffs that came out, but Outlaw is one of the specs that's really finicky when it comes to how much agility you have and how much damage you deal. Recently, they basically nerfed everyone's agility strength and intellect as a dps dealer and while a lot of classes do feel like oh okay i guess i'm not really hitting as hard because you know they kind of wanted for healers to have a little bit easier time in pvp outlaw i feel like is one of the specs where the smallest things make massive effect on the spec and so the five percent agility uh, nerf that it got is actually enough to make the spec even less viable than before 
Before the recent uh, change to the damage output in the game, Outlaw at least had the one shot, the amazing damage with Plunder Armor and Tricks of Trade and if you're rolling with somebody who's a really bursty DPS like an Arcane Mage or Fury Warrior or literally almost any other class that deals massive bursty damage in the game, you're able to tricks them, use Plunder Armor, stun lock the target and score a kill very quick. It was really a cheeky spec for the most part, but right now as it is, it is kind of, it doesn't really bring anything to the table. It's not exactly assassination rogues with massive damage and split and ability to uh, pressure enemies with poisons you're not exactly a subtlety rogue with massive amounts of CC you do have between the eyes which is a range stun but for the most part it doesn't quite fit the narrative of what an outlaw rogue does in PvP and I guess I've tried multiple different builds, or maybe sustained damage, maybe some kind of crazy amount of CC. As Subtlety Rogues does have the most variety of CC. You have disarms, you have stuns, you have gouges, you have a lot of a toolkit to work with. But in the end, it just doesn't feel like the spec has enough to really make it viable, to really make it stand out, to really make it work in the long run. And I'm somebody who has been enjoying the spec for a while, and I feel like I've done almost everything there is to do in terms of different talent builds and different honor talents to play around with and try different combinations of how abilities function and try to figure out the puzzle that is Outlaw Rogue. And I feel like I've given it as solid of a go as I can, but eventually everybody has the patience. It is still my favorite spec and it's something I'm still gonna continue, but I do advise for anybody who is thinking of uh, doing some real rated arena, somebody who wants to have some progression in terms of the game and how it's played for them, I do, uh, I do implore you guys to maybe look away from an Outlaw Rogue, not really look at, hey, Outlaw Rogue, I can deal a lot of damage, look away from it, try out Assassination, try out Subtlety, and if one of those two specs doesn't really fit you, then maybe give Outlaw Rogue a go. Or if you're simply a masochist, then go ahead and try out Outlaw, because it is definitely a challenge with the deck kind of stacked up against you. Anyway guys, I think this is everything that I have for you in terms of covering all the three specs of Rogue, in terms of which one you want to play and which one you want to figure out how to play. Hopefully we'll see some changes in patch 7.2. I want to see a lot more changes done to the honor uh, talents for Rogues. Just maybe see a little bit more variety, see if uh, certain abilities can be improved, certain abilities can be maybe changed up, but we'll kind of have to see in the future of the game. Thank you so much for watching, hope you enjoyed it. Let me know which, your, which spec is your favorite by far and why in the comments. And until then, I'll see you guys in the next video.